Hi everybody, it's Kirsten from You Matter here. Today we're going to be talking about bodies. This is my dog Tui. I love everything about her, but she's not been feeling very good about the way she looks recently. You see, she's been video calling her friends and she wishes she had curls like Charlie. She wishes she had tan and white fur like Archie. And she wishes she had pointy ears just like Django. But Tui, your mummy was a black Labrador and your daddy was a golden retriever and you are a beautiful mixture of the two of them. It's silly to wish that you had fur like a poodle or the height of a Doberman. Dogs are all different, aren't they? But we don't judge them for it and we don't expect them to be anything other than how they were born. But sometimes we put pressure on our own human bodies to look a certain way, don't we? Another thing to remember is that if you're looking at a picture of somebody on social media and they've used a filter, then even that person doesn't really look like it. So this Instagrammer posts pictures of herself side by side to show you the Instagram versus reality. To show you that uh, using filters and using different angles can make you look really different. If you think about it, our bodies are pretty amazing. They do things for us all the time without us even having to think about it, like breathing, pumping our blood, digesting our food. Check out what these amazing bodies have been doing whilst they've been in lockdown. So if your body isn't feeling so healthy at the moment, there are a few things you can try to help yourself feel a bit better. The first one is to move it. Get outside, get some exercise and have a bit of a stretch. So if you can go outside, you might like to ride your bike. You could throw and catch a ball. You could skip or even play hopscotch. If you haven't got any outside space though, you can still move around. So you could run up and down the hallway and get somebody to time you. Um, you could make an obstacle course in your living room with cushions or pillows. Uh, you could have a family dance party, or perhaps you could try one of the online exercise routines that there are, like Joe Wicks's PE lessons in the mornings. The next thing you can do to try and feel better is giving your body what it needs to work properly. And one of those things is water. Most of your bodily functions use water. So you need to try and make sure that you are drinking eight cups of water a day. So to try and do that, you can have a water bottle next to you whilst you're doing your schoolwork. You can take regular water breaks whilst you're doing your exercise. And you can make sure that you have at least a glass of water with every meal. Next up, food gives our bodies the fuel it needs to do almost everything. To find out the right foods to eat, you could have a look at the Eat Well Guide, which is on the NHS website. Now, it says that we need to eat at least five portions of fruit and vegetables a day. And it says that we shouldn't eat foods like crisps, chocolate, cakes and sweets very often at all. 
So you could get involved in the meal planning for your family, you could help write the shopping list, and you could even try and help with the cooking. So finally, my challenge for you is to see how many colours you can eat in a day. Eating a large variety of colours can help us to get all the different vitamins and minerals that we need to keep our bodies healthy. Can you eat a whole rainbow like this one that I made out of all the fruits and vegetables in my house? See you next time. Bye.